Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back YouTube. I'm Uncommon Sense and I want to come at you today with a review slash suggestion and ride along. Something I usually don't do in terms of um, layering fragrances, but this is a combination I was just playing around with and I felt like, hey, this could be good. So let's get into that thing. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way We at Uncommon Sense talk about all things fragrance fashion, style, and mental health and wellness. In addition to lifestyle and travel, I'm coming at you today with a review, suggestion, layering combo. Both fragrances I'm speaking of come from the same house. The fragrance house that I'm suggesting is Mancera. Mancera is one of my favorite niche houses for the simple fact of you get a lot of value for your money. The fragrances are different enough and or long lasting high quality in a way that is second to none. I've never experienced a fragrance house that performed, projected, lasted better than this era. I just haven't. There are a few independent fragrance houses like Dua. Uh, uh, that's really it. I can't remember at this particular point in time fragrance houses that perform better. Some of the independent and or own houses have better performance than some of the designers and niche fragrance houses. Which is interesting to me because if you're an original, shouldn't you be the best? Those are my rules probably. The two yeah. fragrances I'm talking about are Mancera Lemon Line and Mancera Wild Cherry. Now, I was sitting up in my room. <laughs> Shout out to Brandy. She's an Aquarius too, so love her. And I met her before. Did I tell you that? Mm, if I didn't, we'll talk about it. We'll discuss another time. But yeah, check out my Instagram and Facebook. I got pictures of her and I on that. We did the Bobby Schmerder dance and everything. It's a great time. Now that I've laid you out with that layering combo, let's talk about the fragrances individually. Lemon Line is one of those very clean, tart, fragrances. It's a very clean scent. Other individuals are compared it to being antiseptics, like my pine saw. I don't believe it does, otherwise I wouldn't be wearing it. However, it is very astringent, like it's very clinical and clean. It's one of those fragrances where you, it's recognizable, like this is a lemon, this is citrus, and it's linear. It has like leaves of musk in there, and other ingredients, but all I really smell is the citrus. And I'm not mad about it. It's a longer lasting citrus because citrus usually fades on my skin quickly in terms of scent profile. Or either that or I go up with nose blinds. But I've not really found out which one it is, but I believe my skin metabolizes citrus fragrances very quickly. And it's a shame because they're of my favorite. I love to smell cool, fresh. I don't mind smelling fruit. I love that. It's something different than the fragrance profiles that men usually wear and or smell good in and work with our chemistry. So I'm not mad about it. Going over Wild Cherry, I initially thought Wild Cherry leaned a bit to the softer side. I wasn't the biggest fan of it in the beginning, but the musk, the vanilla, the cherry, it all really smells like candy. These two fragrances together are what I like to call cherry lime. That's what it makes me feel. That's what it smells like to me when I put them together. And I just enjoy the layering combo. And I, I'm really not one to layer fragrances because I feel like it disrupts or disturbs the profile one for the other. Not in this case. I've mixed lemon line with several different fragrances and it'll either boost its profile or it'll just round out and project more of the citrus. Love that. I really feel like lemon lime and wild cherry together, unstoppable. Even on their own merits, they're pretty darn great. 
they actually smell like the candy. So if you've ever had Ferrero Pan's lemon heads, it's pretty much what you get with lemon lime. A candied lemon lime. Not lime. Lemon lime. As you're getting that candied fruit with lemon lime. With wild cherry, you're getting the cherry clams, or now what they call them, cherry heads. So, or sour cherries. Remember the sour cherries from the candy store that were kind of big and round, like bite into them, they were kind of tart and creamy? Those, those are what you're getting here. I just feel like those two fragrances together were a winner. Winning winner, chicken dinner. That's my suggestion and layering combo for the day. And I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I wish you all knew nothing but the best. I'll be back at you later on with the end of the day recap to let you know how things went and if my fragrance is still banging in full. Chances are it's going to be because it's my hair. I mean, like, what did you really think is going to happen, right? Anyway, TTFN, talk to you soon. You're welcome.